This big yellow liver on the screen behind me is a fatty liver, and not just any fatty liver. This is a non-alcoholic fatty liver, and it's caused by the same metabolic processes that cause diabetes in humans. Now, why should you care about my big yellow fatty liver, I hear you ask? Well, if you look to your left, check out the person there. Look to your right, check out the person there. Include yourself in that threesome. The likelihood is that one of you three people is suffering from a fatty liver or will suffer from a fatty liver. <laughs> now, a small number of you, if you happen to be that unfortunate person, will go on to have changes, just like we see in people who overuse alcohol. So livers that become scarred and eventually cirrhotic, which is that Pebble Creek type liver that doesn't function properly. The majority of people, though, will go along to experience maybe illness, disease or death related to Australia's single biggest killer, heart disease. And that's why I say a fatty liver could literally break your heart. Now, my big fatty liver doesn't have a cure at the moment. We know that when people lose weight, the fat in their liver decreases, but as soon as they gain weight again, the fat in the liver comes back. And with the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare telling us that 95% of Australians who lose weight gain it all back within a year, that's not a long-term solution to our problem. So, does what we eat matter then if we can't lose weight? I'm a dietitian. I'm passionate about food. It's my big interest. So, I really wanted to know if maybe the diets that we prescribe for cardiovascular disease and those known to work in assisting the risk can also do something for fatty liver. And the two big ones I decided to look at are a Mediterranean diet because rates of cardiovascular disease are generally low or have traditionally been low in Mediterranean countries and a diet that's in line with our Australian dietary guidelines, which is generally quite low in fat, high in fibre, high in fruits and vegetables. The Mediterranean diet is high in fat, but it's mainly from olives and nuts. So what I've done is for the past three and a half years, fed some people who have fatty livers one of these two diets. They didn't know which. And the quick answer to the question is yes, what we eat does matter. The people in my study kept their weight stable and over a period of three months, they were able to reduce their liver fat by about 30%, which is huge. Now, I haven't yet done the complex modeling that tells me if one diet's superior or not, but maybe watch this space for next year. Thank you.